did lead to a lot more wins because one one full jump in is everything. But we're uh, moving forward to uh, back to yeah, yeah Eric a uh, J D R J D. I'm getting the name wrong. J D R. Yeah, no, that was right uh, against uh, Ruffian, who we have not seen at all. However, I've seen Ruffian in other tournaments such as Duel Academy, and I believe the suite of them. Ruffian's Blanca is extremely solid, but JDR, right? Uh, JDR, yes. Yes, JDR is uh, putting some good pressure on them. Yeah, I keep wanting to say JCR, which is <laughs> completely wrong. Uh, first Blanca we're seeing today as well, and uh, their pressure was good, but when you get put in the corner and we got the little little baby Blanca setups, it is very scary. The only two of these characters that we've seen throughout the entire tournament. We saw JDR one round before, but uh, it was a relatively quick one. Jury is the queen of the drive gauge right after GJ. And we can see <laughs> how fast she could threaten the mid screen, but Blanca, Blanca, you got to turn your brain off with when fighting as him. That I and when you, when you fight as him sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, someone who's played Blanca a lot. Uh, but yeah, honestly, the tough thing about Blanca is that you can play in so many different ways and so many different paces. Like right there, you're just expecting more and more aggression, but it was just the walk up and then the straight up just slow walk back, make forcing the whiff. Uh, there's just so many different ooh, choices you can make, but good, perfect parry, and then the raw dive kick connects. Excellent choices that only deal damage, but it's also going to drain that level two. And Ruffian still in a good spot because of the drive gauge advantage. And they're going to really bully JDR into the corner, but no, doesn't want the corner, takes the corner for themselves. <laughs> just, I'm going to be safe here. I'm going to be okay. Oh, that's not going to connect. Yeah, almost like a weird, like, punish to the punish with the, uh, the little Blanca Chan running along. But uh, that was a really hardcore attempt. The hop does recover pretty quickly. So I like the I like the idea. You're in a tough spot, but it just wasn't the move. Yeah, a lot of Blancas like to hit buttons after the hop, and JD, uh, JJGDR was anticipating that, but too slow, too late, and rough and take that game. Nice, crab meets medium punch into the dry brush cancel. It's gonna go all the way to the corner. Perfect meaty uh, back medium kick. And just pressure continuing. This pressure is just so overwhelming from Ruffian. You saw JJDR that they were tapping on that parry and even though they didn't get the punish down throw, Ruffian just went for the throw anyway. When you're in the corner, you tap that parry, I'm walking up to you for the throw. <laughs> Especially with Blanca, just having that perfect like mid-range, like just perfect movement to be able to, I mean, you don't even need to walk up throw. You could like hop up throw if they're like really making that read from far away. It's just, you're just always in that threatening position. Both fighters close to burnout, 17 seconds in. But JDR, JDR in the green and Robin says, you know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna level two from across the screen. <laughs> As the little homie walks through, uh, grabbing the grab, we're playing ST Blanca now. Oh, they went for the parry earlier, so they actually delayed, I think, the uh, follow-up of that ball just slightly. They are going to get the wall crumple on the blocked drive impact. Gosh, you get so much off that with Blanca. But JDR going to use the air dive kick to score the shimmy and some much-needed space. Going to get level one? No, oh, level three. My webcam was actually blocking. I think that they maybe didn't need the level three right there. I could be wrong on that, but I think they wanted to make sure. Uh, wait, do they have a round already? No, they don't. Yeah, they really wanted to make sure that they got that. I mean, that's one of the things that's like really hard to like lock down Blanca, right? That's gotta be like the biggest scariness of Blanca. So I guess if you're not sure if it's gonna kill, you gotta make sure it does. You just gotta spend it. Better to spend it and regret it than not spend it and regret it. Especially since your opponent had one round on you. Another theory is that JDR just went to muscle memory and that mm -hmm. muscle memory was the level three. Yeah, or maybe it was necessary. Maybe I'm just I'm just wrong on the pathing. There's just a lot of normals in there. I felt like the level one could have come from, but it doesn't matter right now. Uh, they're in the corner. Woo, gets clipped out of the very start of the drive rush startup with that crouching medium punch. And oh, they're back into the throw loops. It's it, getting scary. Oh, the bait. That should be it with no drops. And that's going to be two games straight for Ruffian. It's always two. It's always two. <laughs> Oh, this is an immediate rematch as well. We actually haven't seen anybody switch characters mid-set so far, which is pretty interesting. Uh, we've seen characters switch, or players switch characters m different sets, but not within the single one. But I like the confidence, obviously. We're just not seeing a lot of multi-character players, I guess. All right, JDR. Keeping it full range. Block a chance in the middle. Sitting there menacingly. <laughs> oh, 
weird whole situation. I like that though. Goes to the back though to give a little bit more space to kind of start up the little block gen. And uh, again, just kind of using it to build space for the grab. They've been going for that a lot, especially when they've already got a life lead just to build it more. Also, Ruffy has been getting so much damage off of grabs. GDR catches the block of ball. Block of ball again. One more hit from Ruffy and we'll take this round. Yeah, just the tiniest little tickle is all you need, but uh, you're going to need a lot more from uh, the other side. Oh, yeah, not even enough meter. If there was a level three, maybe that would have been a little bit more doable, but you just have so much to deal with when the little doll is running at you. I, I, I feel like that little doll is like watching one hand wind up while the other hand punches you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except for the, the trick is that they actually both punch you in the face. Nice DI reaction right there. Uh, canceling it out of that, I believe, with a stand medium punch. Uh, that's going to give a nice corner and kind of get rid of the, the Blanca Chen doll. Uh, well, yes, at least for the spoon. Moment. Yeah, I know. Always. Good confirmation off of the crouching. And finally, Ruffian's big moves is going to make them pay. That Blanca Chen better come with a gift receipt because JDR made sure he eat that return. Chunky punish as well, like instant drive rush and a crouch heavy punch, a crouch heavy punch, and a crouch heavy punch, and a crouch heavy punch. Just a bunch of big chunky normals, which is also what this combo is. We're immediately going into this level two, which means we're probably going to see some sort of gross mix up, or you don't need the gross mix up, and you're probably going to kill here. It's not a gross mix up, it's just gross damage. Oh my god, is it gross damage? Oh, it wasn't enough, but it doesn't matter. They get the trade. Almost the two touch. It's the, uh, the spiritual two touch right there. 